look at the garden grow. Carrots are happy. Spinach is going nuts. Onions are coming up. The radishes are all picked. I'm actually in round two of the radishes. I didn't get a chance to plant them sooner. But nonetheless, we had a rainy morning. It's supposed to be on and off showers all the weekend. There's the new tractor. There's the old one with the carburetor still taken apart. This is what I'm going to be doing today. Working on light fixtures. This is for the never ending project. Yeah, I know we had a 5th of May completion date, but that didn't happen. The deal fell through on that, so I got a little time. I got a reprieve, which is a good thing. I've been cleaning the fixtures of all this last 195, 100 years of dirt and grime and over spray. Look at the paint. The damn painter. He knew we were, re well, whatever. I'm done complaining about the painter. This is what I started with. Stuff like this. Soaked them in hot, hot, hot boiling water for about a half hour with some soap uh, detergent. And I got this. With one of these brushes. And ugh, with one of these brushes. Patience. Scrubbing it out, all the paint. Like I said, man, they started blown out. They were all blown out just like this. I've got to soak these guys in hot water today. And rewire them. Got a bunch of new switches, rotary switches. Because these are... These are not going to ever pass code. The inspector would never let these fly. So no biggie. But he will let these sockets go because they're ceramic base. Those are fine. So I'm going to be doing these today. Making some money maybe. This is the new 18-2 lamp cord. Which of course doesn't fit through any of the existing holes. Because it has way more insulation than the old fiber um, fiberglass covered stuff. Cloth covered. So I got some drilling to do, a little modification. But check it out, this is the original paint. Pretty cool, soak it in dishwashing detergent, boiling ass water for about a half hour, scrub it. And then put a little paste wax on it, furniture wax on it, and this is what they come out as. Now, that's before dull. That's some serious bling, and then that's after. So a little bit of wax, and they look damn near new. And then this one, let me grab the other one. You can see the difference in sheen. Waxed, no waxed. So I'll come through and polish all, or wax all these bad boys up, get them all pretty. Have a good day today. Oh yeah, and I did all these bases. And all these lamp bases too that just soaked for, get all that paint off. Good thing is that the original paint's in really, really good shape. And all the top coating for the most part is water-based stuff. So the hot water takes it right off. So we'll see how we get today. A little more diligent scrubbing of the arms. These are the sconces that go in the dining room. And the little flowers. They're the little cute little flowers. These things were black. I didn't realize they had orange in them and all kinds of neat colors in them. They got the uh, paint came off pretty good. So I'll start drilling these things out. Put these bad boys back together. Holy crap, I'm running out of room. I got all the waxed pieces, shell pieces there. I got mounting screws, the little florets, more brass screws. Oh, that mounts them to the wall. Those are the little brass knuckles that hold these, these guys to the wall. Got a box full of candlesticks and sockets, and there's a completed one there with a new, eh. New rotary tink switch. Got a lot of colors to them. But then that old house, I think it'll look alright. There you have it. There's a completed unit. <laughs> unit. <laughs> alright, one down. That's that. A couple hours. Everybody's wired and ready to go. Bring some extra. And there they are installed. In the upstairs unit only has two. These are hot all the time, they're controlled by the individual switch. So you've got the two fixtures upstairs. We have nine downstairs. Got the two dining room lights. I know you don't get quite the effect with the afternoon sun. These guys all have their new switches. Switches. All my bitches with the switches. And then... Hey, 
kind of went overboard with lights here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy crap, that's a lot of lights. But they all came out all right. I'm pretty happy with the uh, end result. The owner will be here Thursday or Friday in the next day or two. He hasn't seen him yet. But that's it. These are all these are controlled off of a single dimmer switch, or you can individually shut them on and off as well. I got a single switch out here. I gotta get door stops for all these things. Got this guy here. That's my custom wiring. When you double stack it, that's code. And you shut off. Dink, dink, dink. Mm. Bzz, bzz. Yeah. You know what I mean. So there you go. Some great afternoon light. Look at this. Makes me just want to curl up and take a nap. So I got the Bosch stove, the Bosch fridge, refrigerator, KitchenAid microwave. I got the Bosch dishwasher. All the buttons are on the top, you close it, and that's under the under the countertop, so the buttons go away, it just looks like a piece of stainless. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Godzilla. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finally, I think I can pee in. I mean, I can wash my hands in.